Hello all. Welcome to the first lecture of Control Engineering. I am Girthi Chaku. This is the overview of uh, this uh, first lecture. We will have a small introduction, then move on to various types of control uh, systems, open loop and closed loop system. And then what are the different control tasks that will be assigned. And then we'll uh, have a short uh, exercises, uh, examples. So control is present all around you. See, for example, uh, the room temperature control. You, If you have to maintain the temperature of the room at certain uh, degrees, say 25 degrees Celsius, then you use various mechanisms such as a heater or a cooler to maintain uh, the room temperature in the desired level. So that is a way of uh, the way the control system works. Uh, here the parameter that you are trying to control is the temperature of the room. Another example is the lighting in the room. So sometimes the room may be dark, sometimes the room may, may not be lit properly. So a sufficient amount of light is required in the room. So controlling the lighting system in the room is another control task windows and doors in the room so these uh, uh, can be opened or closed and on off kind of a system the fan uh, the speed of the fan the room heat uh, the temperature that is uh, that we need to maintain by using a room heater the temperature setting within the room heater, all these are uh, control mechanisms. Air conditioner, air conditioner is used uh, to maintain the uh, uh, humidity, temperature of the room. So this can be uh, manual as well as automatic. So, uh, and one of the most complex system is a human body. So human body, uh, has various control mechanisms within us. We have to maintain the temperature of the body. We have to maintain the humidity of the body. We have to maintain the blood pressure of the body. Uh, we have to maintain uh, the flow uh, of the blood. So uh, we have to maintain the sugar level of the body. Uh, so there are various mechanisms uh, that is within the body that needs to be controlled. So human brain helps us maintain all these parameters within the body. Now there are uh, two types of, generally there are two types of systems, open loop and a closed loop system. Uh, the few examples of an open loop system is fan, DC motor, electronics, cloth dryer, irrigation sprinkler, room heater. So uh, why is it called an open loop system? Because there is no uh, feedback of the output variable uh, that is used to control or change or modify uh, something within the system. So in the fan, if you turn on a particular switch, the speed of the fan will be affixed corresponding to that uh, switch. So there can be various levels, say one, two, three, four. So four being the highest uh, speed of rotation of the uh, blades of a fan. So based on whatever the input the user gives, say two, uh, the speed of rotation is fixed. If the user needs a higher speed, then he will have to give uh, number three or four. So based on that input, the rotation of the fan is fixed. So there is no uh, feedback mechanism to tell you that the feed, the speed of this fan is sufficient. Similarly, a DC motor, based on the current input that you give, uh, the uh, motor speed changes. Similarly, electronic clothes dryer. Uh, you put the clothes in the dryer and then you turn on a switch so that uh, the drying uh, happens. Uh, it doesn't take into account whether the cloth is very wet or whether the cloth is almost dry. Uh, based on whatever the input that user gives, the drying happens with so much temperature. So there is no feedback mechanism there. Irrigation sprinkler, 
so based on uh, the speed of the motor that is pumping the water the sprinkler sprinkles its water it doesn't sense the uh, uh, moisture of the soil and then sprinkles accordingly uh, the, the in an pull up system we just give the input and based on the input uh, there is a particular output uh, room heater uh, we change the temperature we fix the temperature at a particular uh, temperature and then uh, it goes on heating the room so at certain uh, point if the outside temperature cools down and the room temperature also cools down still the room heater which is earlier uh, set at a particular temperature it will go on generating the same heat which was given earlier so based on the input that you give uh, we will get uh, the temperature speed so these are the example of a closed loop system speed control of a car suppose you are driving a car and you need to maintain the uh, speed of the car at 50 kilometer per hour then uh, if the current speed is 30 kilometer per hour then you press the accelerator pedal and then you increase the speed of the car if the speed is higher than uh, 50 say 60 kilometer per hour then you press the brake slightly brake pedal slightly so that the speed comes down to 50 again so there you the user the driver is maintaining the speed of the car based on the uh, feedback from the speedometer the speedometer is the uh, equipment that senses the current speed of the car and that is given as a feedback to the driver and the driver presses accelerator or the pedal accordingly to maintain the speed of the car at the desired level similar the air conditioning of a room so uh, the temperature of the room is sensed by some uh, temperature sensor and then uh, that based on that uh, temperature the uh, chip that is kept within the air conditioner decides if it is greater than the room temperature desired room temperature say if the desired room temperature is 25 degrees celsius and the current room temperature is 30 degrees celsius then this difference is sensed by the uh, chip within the air conditioner and then to reduce the temperature a more cooling effect is uh, uh, provided so there again there is a feedback of the room temperature where the room temperature the temperature of the room is the desired variable the variable that we need to control so that um, that is sensed by the uh, uh, sensor temperature sensor and gave uh, and given as a feedback to the chip where the chip produces some action so that the room temperature reaches the desired level similarly water level control of a tank if the level of the water that is required in a tank is 50 centimeter at a height of 50 centimeter and if the water is very uh, low then we need to pump more water into the tank so uh, the current height of the tank is sensed by some level sensor and that is given to a controller and the controller senses the difference and based on that difference if the difference is very large then it uh, pumps more water into the tank and uh, whenever the water is higher than the desired level say 60 centimeter then there is an excess of water in the tank and this water needs to be pumped out of the tank and uh, the controller uh, gives suitable instructions so that the uh, water is pumped out and the desired level of 50 centimeter is maintained in the tank so these are the different examples of a closed loop system so this is a block diagram of an open loop system we have a the controlled plant is uh, uh, the system uh, where we have some variables that needs to be controlled so we will see this open loop system with an example of uh, a fan so the controlled plant is the fan the controlled variable is the speed of the uh, rotation of the fan so uh, based on certain controller function based on certain input that 
we here we have four switches level one to level four different switches based on which switch is pushed the speed of the uh, plant the speed of the uh, fan is uh, fixed to a certain limit so corresponding to uh, the first switch the speed of the fan can be 10 rotations per minute and then corresponding to second switch uh, the speed of the rotation of fan be 20 uh, rotations per minute similarly three and four so uh, based on a certain input you get a certain output and there can be disturbance to the system there can be dust particles there can be uh, other external wind which can which affects this plant which affects the speed of the rotation of the fan there can be temperature there can be current fluctuations so all these affects the speed of the plant so those are disturbances later on we will see what are the system parameters and what is a state variable now in a closed loop system say for example the temperature control of a room now the controlled plant is the room and the controlled variable is the temperature of the room now that temperature is sensed by some temperature sensor and that is given as a feedback to the chip the controller function is the chip that is kept within the air conditioner so the uh, error or the difference between the actual desired temperature that is the set point say to, we have set uh, we, the user needs the room temperature to be at 25 degrees celsius so the temperature is set at that uh, temperature and then the uh, current room temperature say it is uh, 15 degrees celsius that is sensed by the sensor and fed back so there is an error now of 10 degrees celsius based on this error the controller function or the chip gives instruction so that the temperature needs to be raised from 15 degrees celsius to 25 degrees celsius so within the ac there can be a heater so this uh, controller function will turn on this heater so that the plant or the room temperature is raised to 25 degrees celsius from 15 degrees celsius so the output is our desired value or the uh, finally after certain feedback after certain time of this uh, control action um, we will get the output similar to our uh, set point so here again we have many disturbances the opening and closing of the room can be a possible disturbance so later on we will see what are the system parameters and state variables so these are the main control terminologies that we will be using further in the lectures the first one is manipulated variable the second one is controlled variable and uh, disturbances and set point set point is the user defined value uh, the user defined uh, desirable value for the uh, parameter and manipulated variable helps or that is the variable that we modify to uh, change the control variable within the plant so the controlled variable is the variable that our uh, uh, that is the desired uh, variable that we are trying to control and uh, disturbances are external factors which uh, the user doesn't have any control on so we will uh, manipulate the variable manipulated variable so that it can also take into account the disturbances affecting the system so sometimes it is possible sometimes it may not be possible we will see examples for that too so see you in the next lecture